this video we're going to tie a traditional Prince nymph. First thing we're going to do is start with the Daiichi 1710 nymph hook and some 015 lead wire. Then we'll take some black Vivas 12 aught thread and just wrap through our lead wire body a couple times here just securing it to the hook. Then we'll take our thread all the way back here to the butt and we can tie in our tail. For that we're going to use some brown goose biot. We're going to tie these biots in so that the slight curve curves away from the fly. We want that tail to be about half of the length of the shank of the hook. And we'll tie these in one at a time just to make it a little easier on us. You can tie them in both at the same time, but in this video we'll do them one at a time just for a little bit more control and ease of placement. and you'll end up with just a little bit of a split tail just like that. Then you can take your thread forward and we're going to tie in our tinsel which will just be some small gold tinsel then we'll take our thread forward again and we'll take four pieces of some peacock hurl. We'll trim away the fine tips and tie those in right along the side of the hook as well. Then we'll take our thread forward. And we'll stop about two hook eye lengths away from the eye of the hook. Now we can wrap our peacock curl, but before I do that I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist here. Just twist it with some hackle pliers and then you get a nice little peacock rope. Makes the body look a little bit more even. And a little bit more full. So I just twist a few wraps with each wrap of the peacock curl and just build up a little body. Then when I get to the head we can capture our peacock rope. trim out the excess. Then we can take our tinsel and we can spiral that tinsel forward. Usually it only takes about four or five wraps and this last part is always the part that fights me the most so you have to really get that tinsel set in there and you can capture it. Now the next thing to do is create the collar. For that we're going to use a little soft hackle feather or hen India henback feather. And I'll strip away some of the fluff at the base exposing the stem. And we'll tie this in with the curve facing rearward on the fly. That way all the fibers lay back nice on the fly as we wrap this feather. Trim out the stem. And 
and you can use hackle pliers to help aid in wrapping it. Then we'll just take our fingers here and just kind of kink the fibers back on the stem. That'll just kind of help those fibers lay back into the shape that we want them as we wrap our feather. It only takes two or three turns. Careful not to overdo it. Then you can capture the feather with your thread. And trim out the stem. Now we're going to take all those fibers here and we're just going to kind of pull them all back and wrap a couple wraps of thread right up against them. Just like that. And that'll push them all back out of the way. Then we can take our goose bites again in white this time. And we'll create the wing. You want to tie the curve so that it faces down on the fly. And you want to tie them in so that they're about the length of the body. And I like mine to really aggressively swoop out to each side of the fly. And before we do this, we're actually going to take the fly and we're going to angle it up in our vise. This will make it a little bit easier to tie in the wing. That way the thread creeps back on the fly and not forward on the fly. If it creeps forward, then we'll crowd our hook eye. So I tie them in one at a time. Try to get them as even as possible as well. There we are. A couple turns of tight wraps of thread and I can pull them up and out of the way and you got to be careful to leave a few turns of space in front of the eye. That way you don't crowd it. See there how I have just a little bit of room. That's exactly what I want. And then I can clean up the head of the fly with a few turns of thread. Then we can whip finish. And you can see you have your split wings on the top and your nice collar down below. That is a finished traditional Prince Nymph very effective fly even to this day. Can be tied anywhere from a size 8 to a size 18. We tied it here in a 16 today. One of my favorite sizes. And that's all there is to the Prince Nymph.